Hello everyone and welcome to Neuromath. In today's video, we are going to continue building on our understanding of the properties of odd and even numbers. Specifically, we are going to learn how to use these properties to check the accuracy of solutions for subtraction problems. The first thing we need to understand to build on this knowledge is that when I subtract two even numbers, the answer is always even. What this means is that when I take an even number away from an even number, my answer will be even. So I could have a problem like 6 take away 4, or 36 take away 24, or 134 take away 102. Because an even number is being subtracted from an even number, I will get an even number as my answer. We can check to see this is true by solving our problems. So 6 take away 4, being 2, which is even, 36 take away 24, which is 12, also even, and 134 take away 102, which is 32, an even number. Something important to remember is that this condition will always be true, no matter the size of the two even whole numbers being subtracted. So, even if I subtract a three-digit even whole number from a five-digit even whole number, my answer will still be an even whole number. The next thing we need to understand is that when we subtract two odd numbers, the answer is always going to be an even number. What this means is that when I subtract an odd number from an odd number, my answer will be an even number. So I could have problems like 9 take away 3, 33 take away 15, or 117 take away 101. Because they're two odd numbers being subtracted, my answer will be an even whole number. We can check that this is true by solving each of these problems. 9 take away 3 being 6, an even number. 33 take away 15 being 8, an even number. And 117 take away 101 being 16, an even number. Like before, this condition is always going to be true no matter the size of the two odd whole numbers being subtracted. So even if I'm subtracting a three digit odd whole number from a six digit odd whole number, my answer will still be an even whole number. The last thing we need to understand is that when I subtract an even from an odd number, the answer is always going to be odd. What this means is that when I take an odd number from an even or an even from an odd, my answer will always be an odd number. So I could have problems like 8 take away 5, 24 take away 17, or 156 take away 115. Because an odd is being taken from an even or an even is being taken from an odd, my answer will be an odd number. We can check to see this is true by solving each of these problems. 8 take away 5, an even number, take away an odd number, is 3, an odd number. 24 take away 17, an even number, take away an odd number, is 7, an odd number. And 156 take away 115, an even number, take away an odd number, is 41, an odd number. Like with the previous conditions, this is always going to be true no matter the size of the odd and even whole numbers being subtracted. So I could be subtracting a five digit odd whole number from a six digit even whole number. My answer will still be an odd whole number. That's all for today, everyone. Hope you have a better understanding of the topic covered. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.